The nice thing about breeding is it's an art and a science. I'm attracted to that. There are really impacts that a plant breeding program can have that are far and wide, and that excites me to, to, to be able to have that impact. Agriculture is the foundation for civilization, but plant breeding is the foundation for agriculture. The Plant Breeding Program at the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences began over 100 years ago with a single plant and the simple idea that science could address the critical needs of Florida citizens. Today, the IFAS Plant Breeding Program is one of the strongest and most diverse programs in the country, and it has helped to establish Florida as an international leader in agricultural production. The combination of traditional crossbreeding techniques and cutting-edge technology allows IFAS breeders to develop new plant varieties with higher yields, better flavor, and improved resistance to both pests and diseases. The goal is to discover new knowledge and products that will help Florida agriculture stay competitive in a global marketplace and to ensure that the valuable industry is sustainable for years to come. Here is a look at just a few of the groundbreaking and innovative IFAS plant breeding programs. The IFAS peanut breeding program is the oldest in the nation and one of the first UF breeding programs to release a new plant cultivar in the 1940s. It also helped to establish the mechanism for collecting royalties from these new varieties. Today, that system funnels up to 70% of the money made from all new varieties back into IFAS breeding programs. It's a system that remains unique among universities to this day, and it's a critical component to the success of the breeding programs. While the peanut breeding program continues to have success under the leadership of breeder Barry Tillman, there is a constant need for new varieties with higher yields and improved characteristics. The cost of production are continually going up for growers, so we need new varieties that will yield more. We have a growing world population, so we have to feed more people. So there, there's just a continual need for new varieties. Close to 200,000 acres of peanuts are grown in Florida every year, with a value of more than $60 million. IFAS breeding efforts have helped to give Florida peanuts a reputation for high quality and the ability to hold their flavor while sitting on a shelf. IFAS breeding programs have also created new industries by making it possible to grow crops not acclimated to the Florida environment. Beginning in the 1950s, IFAS breeders Ralph Sharp, Wayne Sherman, and Paul Irene crossbred northern highbush blueberries with native Florida blueberries to create a hybrid. This new southern highbush plant grew well in Florida's climate and produced high quality berries. Today, 5,000 acres of blueberries are grown in Florida at a value of $70 million. IFAS blueberry breeder Jim Olmsted continues to develop new varieties to meet the industry's growing need. The interesting thing about blueberry production in Florida right now, it's almost entirely based on varieties that were developed at UF, those southern highbush blueberry varieties that we've been breeding since 1950. The program remains focused on finding new varieties that flower earlier in the year with higher yields and better disease resistance. But Olmsted is also working to create firmer varieties that can be mechanically harvested. The added benefit to growers is that research shows consumers actually prefer the firmer berries. Flavor is a challenge for many IFAS crop breeding programs, but tomato breeder Jay Scott used his 35 years of experience to create a tomato variety with superior flavor. The variety called Tasty Lee can produce high yields 
and consistent flavor under a wide range of growing conditions. And it's that combination that is making the variety a success with both farmers and consumers. What it appears happened in Tasty Lee versus uh, another uh, standard type tomato is Tasty Lee is lower in some of the volatiles that cause some off flavors in tomato, kind of a mushroomy, musty, uh, sour type volatiles. Tasty Lee is adding to the success of the state's $500 million a year tomato industry, but the IFAS breeding programs never stop. Researchers are already working to improve the disease resistance of Tasty Lee to make it easier and less expensive for growers to produce. Disease resistance is a critical component for the success of many of Florida's agriculture industries and is of special concern for the Florida citrus industry today. This critically important industry is facing challenges from diseases like citrus canker and deadly citrus greening. IFAS breeders are playing an important role in the battle with citrus greening and early results suggest that root stocks may play an important role in helping citrus trees fight this disease. In field trials this year, citrus breeder Jude Groser saw a dramatic difference in trees that use the two most common root stocks. Both of them in this trial have over 70% infection already. Whereas we have experimental root stocks that are as low as 7%. So it's all about an order of magnitude difference. And this is just one location, so if that happens to repeat on other locations, then it'll be something to get, get excited about. Grozer says the combination of a disease-resistant rootstock and proper spraying for pests could mitigate the disease. Every variety of citrus grown in the state is susceptible to greening. And this research is the first bright spot breeders have had in the battle with deadly disease. Breeder Kevin Kenworthy is fighting to protect Florida's more than $7 billion a year turf grass industry from pests. IFAS research helped to create the most common turf grass variety used in Florida called Floratam. This St. Augustine grass became popular because of its resistance to chinch bugs, but the bugs eventually overcame Floratam's resistance. Now Kenworthy is working to develop alternatives to Floratam that have pest resistance and require fewer inputs to keep the grass healthy. The need for resistance in our grasses is paramount to save money and make the industry more environmentally sustainable. Breeders are also working on varieties of bahia and zoysia grass that use less fertilizer and are more drought resistant. Protecting the Florida environment is also the focus for ornamental plant breeder Zanao Dang. He developed sterile varieties of lantana for commercial growers to help protect the state's native species. Lantana is popular in home landscaping throughout the state because it's drought tolerant and flowers during most of the year. But invasive commercial varieties can hybridize with native lantana and pollute the gene pool. These new sterile varieties look and grow like other commercial varieties, but they can't cross-pollinate with the native plants. By doing that, we hope these new varieties can you know, protect native lantana species as well as the environment. Cutting edge technology is making it faster for forest scientists to breed new tree varieties adapted to the changing Florida climate. IFAS pine tree breeder, Matthias Kirst, is using DNA analysis to identify successful traits and the genes associated with them in adult pine trees. After determining genes of interest, he can check for these genetic markers in the next generation of trees without having to wait for the trees to mature. Using this new marker-assisted selection technology allows Kirst to cut a standard breeding cycle from 20 years to only five years. The next step for this research is to understand how groups of genes work together to control complex traits like tree growth and to increase the expression of these desired traits. The approaches that we use right now will be useful at 
is not just in terms of accelerating breathing, but we also are working on ways by which we can actually identify very precisely the individuals that we should cross to make the most perfect allelic combination, what will create the perfect tree. This research will help ensure that Florida's future forests are healthier and better adapted to deal with new pests, changing climate, and other future environmental challenges. Building on more than 100 years of hard work, IFAS plant breeders continue to make an impact on Florida's economy and in communities across the state. IFAS plant breeders use a combination of traditional techniques, emerging technologies, and dedicated effort to develop the next generation of successful varieties. And it's their successes that will help Florida agriculture stay competitive in the international marketplace.